Hello everyone. My name is Emmanuel Cyprian from Titec Consulting. So welcome to part two of the governance risk and compliance you know, topic we've been talking about uh, from our last video. Now, as you can see on the, you know, um, on the display by my side, you see that today we want to talk about the risk management, that is the risk aspect of the GRC, the governance risk and compliance. So in this video, I want to explain the risk aspect. Now, risk management involves the identification of risk, assessment of risk, and mitigation of risk that could impact organizations' you know, um, ability to achieve their objectives. So in every organization, there is the risk management aspect. And to talk more about that, I'll refer you to NIST 800-30 and NIST 800-39. Yeah, NIST 800 30 and 39. Please go and check out my video on risk management. Now, when it comes to risk management, now it deals with identifying risk, it deals with um, assessing risk, and it also deals with mitigating risk that may impact organizations from achieving their set objectives. So, this component of GLC focuses on minimizing potential threats while taking advantage of opportunities. You know, it focuses on minimizing potential threat while taking advantage of opportunities. So under this risk management, there are, you know, four different components under the risk management. And it talks about one, risk identification. So what is risk identification? It means that you recognize potential risk that will affect an organization, such as financial risk, operational risk, cybersecurity threats, and regulatory changes. So this is what we call risk identification. So risk has to be identified. And then the second component under the risk management is risk assessment. So this risk assessment involves evaluating the likelihood and the potential impact, you know, of identified risks, prioritizing them based on their severity. So that is risk assessment. You know, in, in like I said, if you read um, Miss 800-30, you see there that risk is a, has a mathematical expression, which is risk equals to likelihood times potential impact. Likelihood times potential impact. I've done a lot of videos on that, so please go and review it. So that is the number two component when it comes to, uh, what's it called, uh, risk management. Number three component when it comes to risk management is risk mitigation. Now, risk mitigation, it means that implementing strategies, that is strategies um, to reduce risk, to transfer risk, to accept risk, or, you know, just to minimize risk. Now, under the risk mitigation, there are four choices that organizations has when it comes to mitigating risk. Organizations can accept risk, they can transfer risk, they can uh, reduce risk or mitigate risk, and then they can avoid risk. But the two most prominent choices that you see in every organization is risk acceptance and risk mitigation. Risk acceptance and risk mitigation. Risk acceptance means that organization chooses to accept the risk when they have done analysis that the cost of mitigating that risk is more than what they stand to lose. However, while organizations accept risk doesn't mean that they will not do anything regarding that risk. They will take their time to ensure that that risk is mitigated. And then risk mitigation itself means that organizations are putting together strategic uh, controls in place to ensure that that risk is mitigated. Now, as you can see, there is, you know, cyber attack everywhere, every now and then. So organizations have to put in place security controls, security measures to help reduce those cyber attack. There is no amount of control that can eliminate risk. Risk cannot be eliminated. Risk cannot be destroyed. 
but we can only reduce risk, reduce its impact, reduce the likelihood of that vulnerability being exploited. And we have different form of control measures to put in place, such as the access control, awareness and training, contingency planning, incidents response, configuration management plan, you know, just to mention a few of them. So that is what we mean by risk mitigation. And then the last component under risk management is risk monitoring. So risk monitoring ensures continuous tracking and reviewing risk to ensure that mitigation efforts are effective and that new risks are promptly addressed. So that is risk monitoring. Ensures that organization continues to monitor the controls that has been implemented to ensure that those controls are effective and any new risk or vulnerabilities are promptly addressed. For example, organizations make sure that any of their um, internet facing applications, they run penetration tests on that application at least once in a year, depending on the criticality of that applications. Penetration testing is one of the ways of monitoring those, you know, you know it's one of the monitoring controls. So, Organizations perform vulnerability scanning on their network, vulnerability scanning on the application, on their environment, at least monthly. That is another way of monitoring risk. Another way of monitoring risk is continuous assessment. All the controls that have been implemented that I mentioned earlier, organizations continue to assess those controls on a regular basis to ensure that the controls are still properly implemented, working as intended, and producing the desired results. So, and again, part of it is asking employees to go for, you know, refresher training, either monthly refresher training or quarterly training or, you know, every six months. That is why they, they ask you in your organizations to take all those cybersecurity 10 minutes, you know, a training, either monthly or quarterly is part of risk monitoring. So I hope this video makes sense to you. And if it does, please don't forget to like, to share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any question, please don't hesitate to drop it in the comment section. Thank you so much.